Hello Capricorn, welcome to another love reading. This reading will be all about your person and what they're thinking, feeling about you, what their intentions are towards you and or next actions. Um, as always, keep in mind that these readings are meant to be general, so they cannot and will not resonate with every Capricorn watching. So take what resonates for you, what applies to you. All right, for Capricorn spirit, let's look at your person Capricorn and how they are thinking or feeling about you at this time. What do we need to know about Capricorn's person spirit? What are their thoughts or feelings at this time? What are their energies, please, for Capricorn? Yeah, that's the one. Ooh, dear energy. A lot of love, um, gentleness, caring, nurturing energy there. The deer reminds me a lot of the queen of cups of the tarot. So I feel like your person either views you in this way as someone very nurturing and loving, um, or they feel very genuine, loving emotions towards you. Let's see, what else can we get for Capricorn's person? Oops, that's way too many. What are the energies of Capricorn's person spirit? Ooh, crocodile. Waiting patiently. Planning their next move. Watching. So what about you, Capricorn? How are you thinking or feeling at this time towards this person or about this connection? What are Capricorn's energies towards this person's spirit? What are Capricorn's energies? Snake. You see a lot of potential with this person. The snake is all about potential. And it's also about kind of like time running out before that potential is gone. What else for Capricorn? What else can you tell me, Spirit for Capricorn? Ooh, the whale. Very uh, deep emotions here with the whale. A, um, a very sensitive energy. The whale has like a depth due to experience. So, um, Either you have a lot of deep emotions for this person um, or you've grown into someone due to your past into someone that has gained a lot of wisdom. So due to your past, you've gained a lot of wisdom. You've learned a lot. You're able to see things in a deeper way past the surface. So I feel like either you have a lot of depth towards this person or maybe there's complexity here on how you feel for this person as well. I'm also getting that for some of you, you see potential and you want to jump on it, but your experience has taught you that you shouldn't just jump into anything. Okay, spirit, let's look a little deeper here for Capricorn if I could shuffle. Tell me more about this connection, spirit for Capricorn. All right, Capricorn, let's see. What do we need to know, Spirit, regarding this person that Capricorn is thinking about? Tell me about Capricorn's person. What do I need to know? Let's see what information we get. <laughs> Excuse me. What do we need to know Capricorn's person? There's that waiting card. They're expect expectantly waiting or waiting with high anticipation for something. Wow. Page of Pentacles, Eight of Pentacles. So whatever it is that they're waiting for or whatever this offer is about, they've been working on it. You got one more. Actually, this is pretty good here. I don't want to get too many cards because I forgot that I want to do some cards for the mutual energies as well. Oh, the Ace of Pentacles wanted to pop up. Okay, so tell me about Capricorn's energy. What is Capricorn's energy? 
Two of Cups, Four of Pentacles reversed. Maybe you're not so guarded against this person. Maybe you're opening up your heart to this person because you see that there's potential in this connection. What else for Capricorn Spirit? Seven of Cups, evaluating your choices. Be careful about how you approach this situation. Not every cup is what it seems there. Tell me more for Capricorn, please. Ten of Pentacles reverse. Interesting. Perhaps there's a um, family issues that you're dealing with on your end. A broken commitment or financial difficulty. What's going on in this connection? What are the mutual energies here, Spirit? Can I get two cards, please? The two cards for the essential energies here. Ooh, death. Endings bringing new beginnings here. What else is going on in this connection? And the Hermit. Major Arcana's here. Scorpio and Virgo energies. Does not have to be a Scorpio or Virgo. That's just what I'm seeing. Bottom of the deck here, I have the Empress. Wow. So I feel like, in general, there's, there's a transformation, a change happening in your connection. Perhaps there was a separation or an ending between you, because I have the Hermit here, and the Hermit's usually alone. Um... One of you or both of you are really thinking deep about changing or ending something. And it has to do with the both of you. Now, this is mutual energy, so it could be both of your both of you are here. So it could be either of you that wants to end something or change something. Um, and you're doing a lot of thinking about it. Let me clarify these energies, please. Your person wants to make you an offer. They're working hard on it. This is a very stable offer here. I mean, it's, it's a small offer, but it has potential. And I feel like they've been really hard at work on this offer. What in the world? They want success and they've been, I think they've been working towards success as well. It's not just like something that they're just sitting around waiting for. Tell me about the three of wands, please. What's the three of wands doing here? Oh, I got two. The chariot reverse, you keep getting like major arcanas here. I don't have that many, but for some reason, like, I'm feeling strong energy. High Priestess Reverse, Chariot Reverse. Something could be coming out that changes. It's almost like this person is waiting for something to come out in order to change direction, or they're waiting to speak up about the fact that they're choosing a different path, changing direction with the chariot reverse. There could be delays and, and, and that's why, delays in movement, and that's why someone's waiting around here. Bottom of the deck, Ace of Pentacles. So it's like someone's waiting to have a new opportunity or give a new opportunity. But right now there are some sort of delays. It could be that someone here was, I mean, I'm reading for a lot of people, so I'm just going to run through the different scenarios that I'm seeing here because I haven't really done the whole spread yet. But what I, 
Another uh, story that I see here is someone was probably ignoring their intuition, ignoring the signs of something. And so they were on the wrong path this whole time. But because I have the Ace of Pentacles at the bottom and I have the Three of Wands upright, I really just think that this is someone who's waiting to, to switch direction, to go down a different path. One of success with the Six of Wands here. Tell me about the Six of Wands, please. Seven of Wands, reverse. So no longer fighting, no longer being guarded or defensive, opening yourself up here. So let me look at this death card because now I'm curious. What's this death card about? What's death about? And then I'll go back to your person. What's death about here, spirit? Ten of Swords reversed. So something has already been over, or something is already over. And someone's getting over that. Because the Ten of Swords reverse is someone that's overcoming a difficult ending, someone who is ready to forgive and move on with their life. Tell me more about death. So something already happened between you. Queen of Wands. So someone wants something. They wanna take action. I feel like whatever happened with this ending here, someone wants to take action to change something or end something completely. Can I get one more for this Queen of Wands? What's this Queen of Wands about? Queen of Wands is someone very fun, outgoing. She's brave, bold. She goes after what she wants. Interesting, Six of Pentacles reverse. Bottom of the deck, Queen of Pentacles, reverse. So whatever ended, I feel it ended because it wasn't, there was a lack of balance of equal give and take. Someone was giving more than the other person. Someone stopped giving here. Queen of Pentacles, reverse, she doesn't give anymore. Tell me about the hermit. That's too many. Give me one card for the hermit, please. The decision was made. Someone was withdrew to think about a decision. What kind of decision? Tell me more about this decision, please. Ooh, tower reversed. Someone's been, oh wow, this is more complicated than I thought. Someone's trying to not have something be as, as destructive or as painful. They're trying to prepare for a tower that they know is coming or trying to avoid a tower that they see coming here. And they're thinking about how to deal with it. This Queen of Wands. I feel like something has changed in your connection. And... I feel like there's still a magnet between you because I have a page of pentacles, six of wands over here with the deer card. And then I have two of cups, the whale card over here. 
So you both feel a certain way about each other, very strongly about each other. But in the midst of you, in the middle of your connection, there is something going on here. There's been either an ending already, or someone's trying to avoid an ending. Tell me more about the Six of Wands. Three of Swords, Reverse. Someone wants to heal a connection, have this not be as painful, as stressful as, you know, they're, they're not fighting anymore. They just want this to be over and have success again. They're having a change of heart, your person. And they want to make you an, an offer, a new one that they've been working on. So what's going on over here with you? Well, actually, before I do that, tell me about this tower reverse. What's this tower about? Sorry that I'm all over the place. What's this tower about? I just get keep getting distracted. The star reverse and the six of wands. Nope, six of swords reverse. I feel like someone has given up hope that they'll be able to either leave a situation or have someone return to them. Eight of wands at the bottom. They, they're, somebody wants to move quickly here. And they're losing faith, losing hope because of this tower that they see coming. You could be dealing with an Aquarius. Virgo's here. Scorpio is here. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Cancer, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. We got everybody here except for air. I don't really see a specific air sign, but well, other than Aquarius. So yeah, we have pretty much one of everybody here. Anyways, so um, the star reverse. This is someone that's lacking faith, lacking hope. Trying not to lose hope. And the six of swords reverse can mean multiple things. It can mean that someone is stuck from moving forward, which goes with this chariot reversed here. Very similar energies. Someone unable to, to leave a situation and they're stuck or delayed. Or someone wants to return to a situation that they left in the past. The decision has been made, but the decision was made to avoid a tower. I wonder if that's what they truly wanted to do. I hope this is making sense. <laughs> I'm trying not to be confusing here, but the message is they're very, this is not an easy reading because there's so much underneath the surface. This is very deep and complex here. Something happened between you and one of you or both of you are kind of like on your own separate journeys, but still thinking of each other. Tell me about the four of pentacles reverse. Why is the four of pentacles reverse? Yeah, you're letting go of something here. You're breaking free of something that you were very guarded about, very um, frozen in fear. You were you were stuck and, and no longer. And, and I feel like that was a mental, mental um, prison that you were in there. The moon came out, Pisces energy. Something here was a secret, a mystery, confusing. Why is this moon here? Wow, there's that Ace of Pentacles again. Huge opportunity. So I feel like this is something you don't see coming, Capricorn. I feel like whatever this is, you don't see this coming. That's why the moon is here. Maybe in the past you were closed off emotionally to anything new. And now that you're opening up your heart, something can grow. You see? This is beautiful right here. So why the Seven of Cups? Why are you thinking about this? You might be thinking, you might be one of those people that thinks about things a little bit too much here. Tell me about the Seven of Cups. Yeah, you're, you're thinking about what path 
to choose what to do, where to go. Tell me about the seven. Oh, sorry about that, guys. There's a storm going on outside. Tell me about the seven of cups. Thank you. Knight of cups reverse. I think some in, in some way you're, you're doubting someone's intentions here. You're doubting someone's true intentions. You're wondering if you can trust them. Possibly because in the past there was deception here or someone just telling you what you wanted to hear with the Knight of Cups reverse. Someone could be trying to confuse you. It does not have to be this person. It could be somebody else. Tell me about the Seven of Cups. I get one more. Oof, Ace of Wands reversed. Yeah, I wonder if you want to give to this new beginning, Capricorn. There's potential here for something long term. I wonder if you're going to be open to it. Tell me about the Ten of Pentacles reverse, please. You really, I feel like, aren't going to know what to do. Oh, that's way too many. Can I get one more, please, for this Ten of Pentacles reverse? Why is this Ten of Pentacles reverse here? Ten of Wands reverse. A burden that you're dropping. What else can you tell me about this Ten of Pentacles reverse? Temperance and two. There's another card here about making a decision. Two of Pentacles reversed and Temperance. Sagittarius energy with the Temperance card. You you want something to come together. You're being balanced and 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 patient about a decision that you're making because you have your eye on the prize. There's something that you're trying to make happen here. And in order to make it happen, you had to really de debate on a decision. You had to drop a burden, possibly a commitment. And I wonder if it's with this person who still cares about you. This person wants success. They want to overcome whatever was painful here, whatever was difficult here. They could be healing from something on their own, but make no mistake, Capricorn, they're coming to make you an offer. And I think this is the offer that you don't see coming. There's something here where someone could see that it wasn't fair or balanced and they ended it. They said something had to change. They withdrew and when they withdrew, they started thinking about how to go about making a drastic change. That's this tower. 